Hello everybody, you are with the Mediocre Beast and today I am here to review a very special figure. It's uh, Stephen King's famous movie It from the 1990s, Pennywise from the movie and this one is extra special because it's a birthday gift from my wife. I got it very recently from her and I am excited to have it in my collection, having the chance to unbox it. It is a pleasure to have it in my hands. So the box, it looks great. On the back, you can see some really nice graphic of Pennywise with his different facial expressions, his uh, balloons. Everything is looking wonderful. But the, but the most interesting part about uh, these NECA boxes is that they have Velcro here that you can open this up, this flap, and you see the figure, you see the, all the stuff it comes with, along with a really nice graphic over here. And when you're done, you can just stick it together and have it protected. So I really like the way they uh, make their boxes. Uh, Minton box collectors, you folks are going to love this, I know. But I am no Minton box collector. I am a more uh, hands-on guy. I'm going to unbox this. I'm going to show you everything that's inside. So stick with me till the end. Here is Pennywise out of the packaging and wow, it is such a beautiful, such a well-made figure. I cannot tell you enough how impressed I am. Yes, the box, getting it out of the box, um, especially the blister part, it was a bitch. Like It was so difficult to get all of his uh, heads out of the blister packaging. Other than that, this figure has been an a plus so far let me quickly show you what it comes with uh it has these uh weird looking uh monster kind of hands uh pennywise's actual uh, look so these green hands they look ugly they have really nice paint details and sculpted details as you can see all the veins all the texture even the nails are painted black so both the hands, the sculpting is done really, really well. It, uh, Pennywise also comes with uh, these other uh, regular looking clown hands. This one is like a, uh, with his index finger sticking out. So this hand here, uh, this another hand to hold all the balloons. He comes with, I'm going to show you in a bit. Uh, and this one is another, uh, this one is probably uh, to hold the paper. Uh, boat so these three hands we also get and we actually get a paper boat I am actually quite surprised because I thought it was going to be plastic like any other action figure accessories but this one is paper and uh, <laughs> I don't understand why it is paper <laughs> it is a little bit weird for me uh, because since it's paper, I might not be able to store it properly. It might, you know, fold. It might, it might get lost, ruined, whatever. Plastic would have been preferred. It is interesting that it's paper, but I am not too sure whether I like this decision. Another thing that he comes with, this thing right here, kind of like a remote control kind of thing. And this handle right here, it moves. <laughs> you can rotate this handle. So I, I thought that was amusing. <laughs> And apart from this grumpy looking face, he also comes with three extra faces. So this one right here with his monster look, but with a surprise on his eyes. And wow, just look at the paint details on this one. The eyes, the pupil, uh, the clown nose, the teeth, everything. Uh, the paint job is immaculate on this one. Uh, the red hair. Overall, it is looking great. The other head that it comes with, this one, 
with some kind of damage here on this side of its face. It also has these really nice looking teeth painted on. His eyes are looking amazing, I think. On all these head sculpts, the eyes. And you're gonna love how the paint details are on this one. And there's another one, the final one, this one with the happy face. It is still looking creepy. This clown, it, if you have a phobia of clowns, this is going to be your nightmare fuel. Uh, the eye paint here is really nice as well, but you don't see that golden shimmer on his pupils as much. Uh, and his teeth, they are looking more normal <laughs> compared uh, to the monster look right here. But still, creepy enough for nightmares. <laughs> and finally, the most interesting part, these balloons. And believe it or not, we have one, two, three, uh, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, seven different balloons, all plastic. They, these are hollow, but they have these, uh, this metal wire attached. So you can actually pose these balloons. So that is a really, really nice thing. I am, I am actually pretty impressed that they have added so, so many accessories on, on this figure. Hands, stuff, heads, the balloons. So yeah, A plus for the effort. Now let's take a closer look at the figure itself. Now, uh, I've shown you the other three uh, head sculpt. Uh, this one is his grumpy face. Uh, grumpy angry kind of face uh, it is looking great like exactly like the other ones it's it also has wonderful paint details except it has this small uh, small spot of blue paint on his nose and i suppose that is a mistake but that is fine i mean if you're doing this good a job of uh, painting and sculpting these small mistakes i can overlook because it, it's not uh, ruining the appearance of the figure whatsoever. Overall, the paint application looks great. You see the sculpted details, this part, this is completely plastic, yellow plastic, but the sculpt is amazing. You can see that he's wearing kind of like a baggy uh, clown suit. So he has all these creases, these folds throughout his uh, costume and, and the details, they look great. And this vest that he's wearing, it has this really nice uh, kind of uh, painted details with, with these, I don't know what these are, like trees, flowers, leaves, I don't know, <laughs> but they look great, that I can tell you. Uh, you see these shiny parts on the purple, on the blue uh, part uh, on, on his, like, uh, what do you call this? I don't know what you call this part of clowns. I'm not, I'm no expert in clowns, uh, but the same material you can find on his, uh, on his sleeves and it has this shiny kind of paint on the blue and the uh, purple colors here and they look wonderful I think. Overall, the paint application is top notch. No complaints on that front. Uh, his boots, these are plain black boots and that is fine but interestingly you'll see that it even has paint details here <laughs> near his legs. Uh, so overall, the, the attention to detail, the paint application, the sculpt, I am incredibly pleased with this one. Now let's take a closer look at the articulation of this Pennywise. So the head right here, you can rotate the head. It also is moving this uh, throat piece kind of thing. I don't know what it is called. Please put a comment if you know. Uh, but you can rotate the head as long as you're fine with rotating this part as well. Uh, can you look up? Uh, oops. Uh, <laughs> his head fell off. I'm sorry for that. Let me try and get that in again. So it is a tight fit, the head, uh, but yeah, you cannot really look uh, up by that much. You can look down quite a bit, but you need to be careful so that you don't <laughs> get the head open like me. Uh, so the head motion, just be careful with the up and down motion because the fit right there isn't ideal. Uh, but other than that, I think the other articulation, let me quickly show you, those are great. This arm right here, you can rotate, you can move up this much. Uh, interestingly, the arm here, it has two joints here. So the elbow joint, you can, uh, for, uh, you can bend, you can also rotate near the elbow. So that is nice, that is a nice touch. 
but at the same time you have another joint here uh, on the on the arms I don't uh, know how that would work I haven't seen this kind of a joint before and it, and it has been a while since I bought a NECA figure oh wow you can fold here as well so it is interesting you can fold on both these parts near the uh, near the elbows you can also rotate here so that is a really nice touch you can rotate both the parts so that is really nice touch the hand over here you can rotate the hand as usual you should also be able to move the hand up and down like this so that is great uh, Pennywise has uh, articulation near the torso I think let me see if we can move yeah we can rotate the torso from side to side can you look down can you look up no that motion is very limited it's mostly for side to side movement uh, you have you don't have any articulation near the waist and I think that is fine because he's wearing a clown costume uh, I don't know it's fine for me at least uh, then you have the legs you can spread the legs this much that is quite some quite quite a nice motion you can go up by this much uh, but it ruins kind of the costume so I wouldn't advise doing so uh, you can go back quite a bit but I think the best way to have the legs is to have them close together <laughs> uh, the, the way it's designed the way it's sculpted I don't think it's meant uh, to have a lot of leg articulation uh, you have the knee articulation over here can you bend it yep you can bend it this far it's just a single joint so that's what you'll have to be happy with and the legs can you rotate yep you can rotate the feet right here can you go up and down yep you have you can go up and down a little bit so overall the articulation is great one thing that i should mention is that this figure it is quite heavy it, it is solid plastic there is no hollow piece inside like uh, when you when i'm reviewing mcfarlane figures figures like this they would have this part hollowed out to save on plastic and i hate that when they do that like the figures they feel cheap they don't feel as heavy and they don't feel as sturdy but this one is a completely different case it is sturdy it is heavy it is great so i really like what they have done here oh i forgot to show you the figure also comes with an interesting backdrop right here uh, of a swamp ugly looking uh, swamp kind of a thing that you could use to display the figure so that is a nice touch so here is pennywise with all the balloons in his hand and it looks great but it can be a little too difficult to uh, have these on his hands and also to pose them because it ruins his balance and the balloons they are hollow but they tend to try to fall all over the place so you cannot have him displayed like this i don't think because the hand would rotate someday with the weight of the balloon so it is good for posing for taking photos but not for display purposes i don't think and another issue with this one is that swapping the heads it is such a pain it is such a tight ball joint so you really have to force to uh, get the uh, other extra heads in i tried uh, i put this one on the happy face one and it took me forever and so much strength i am not a strong man so yeah it is difficult now for a quick measurement pennywise here stands just slightly below seven inches now for a quick comparison i have the 2017 movie pennywise from neca here and this one as you can see it comes with just one balloon as opposed to the one that we're reviewing today with seven balloons uh this one also comes with different head sculpts and i i, I just love this figure it the paint scheme the modern one the paint scheme is uh, uh a little bland <laughs> compared to the old movie but both of them, they are so uh, so well done. NECA did a really good job and I think they are looking really, really great together. I am really pleased that I have these in my collection. So here's another comparison with other horror figures. We have both the Pennywise alongside Jason Voorhees from the Friday the 13th movie franchise and uh, Freddy Krueger from the Nightmare on Elm Street. Both these figures are also from NECA and NECA does such a good job on their sculpt, on their paint application all four of these figures just tell me don't they look really really good like i myself i am really pleased at what they are doing and 
I think they will look really good on any display shelf. And just for fun, here is Pennywise, uh, both the clowns next to the clown prince of crime. So we are almost at the end of the video. Thank you if you have watched this far. So we have unboxed and reviewed Pennywise from Stephen King's It movie from 1990. Uh, this one is a NECA ultimate figure and I think NECA has done a fabulous job. This figure came with so many accessories, so many different head sculpts, so many different hands, all the balloons. So overall, in terms of accessories, it was done really well. But on top of that, the figure itself, it is such a great sculpt, so many great paint details. Overall, the figure really, really impressed me. Now, it could be the bias talking here because this was a birthday gift and not any, not just any birthday gift. It was from my wife. So I have sentimental value attached to it. So it could be my bias talking, but I highly recommend this. I think it will look really, really good on your display shelf. Now, I want to give this a full five stars out of five. <laughs> Was that too much? Uh, it could be, maybe. Uh, do let me know in the comments section whether this deserves a full five stars or not. But in my eyes, I think it was done really, really well. It's a perfect score for me. So I really like this. I highly recommend this. So if you are a fan of horror movies, if you are a fan of the It franchise, if you're a fan of Pennywise, do get this one. You're going to love it, I think. Uh, my wife got this from Amazon, I think. Uh, and you can find it at uh, Amazon or eBay. So if you are a fan, I do highly recommend getting this one. Do let me know in the comments whether you agree or whether you disagree. And I will upload some new videos soon. So please stay in touch. And please do share, uh, like, share and subscribe my videos. These things really help a new YouTuber like me. So until next time, take care. Bye-bye.